Thank you all for being here, family, friends. It's a wonderful time. God bless Renee and, and Jason. Um, I think the most important thing is remember your memories uh, that you've had and the vows you took and keep those in your heart. God bless you both. Thank you. All right, well, let me introduce myself. I'm James Parker, in case you don't know. Went to kindergarten with Jason, so I've known him quite a long time. Um, first and foremost, let me say how beautiful everything is. Um, the the uh, ceremony was wonderful. Everybody looks great. I know this. I was watching everybody come down. I thought how great everybody looked. Renee especially looks great. Now, I tried to get Renee to, to let Jason wear a Michigan State hat. Because he always wears a hat. I'm standing up there. I turn to watch the ceremony. I'm getting the glare. I'm getting it right now. The glare <laughs> off his head. So, so I really didn't get to see too much of the ceremony, but I'm sure it was fantastic. <laughs> now, 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 let me say, I, I, I was thinking that I had to give you both a hard time. We've, you two graduated together over 20 years ago. And you took a little while to make this happen, but I'm thrilled that you did. It also gives me 20 years of stories to tell. <laughs> but, but I don't want to worry Renee, so I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to tell one story. Renee, I'm going to tell you what Jason means to me and my family. And so my little, I've got two little girls. I've got Jesse, who is nine, and Jace, who is 12, named after Jason. Jesse tells me, you know, we go, over, we go over to Jason's mom's house for, for Christmas Eve, and Jesse tells me, Dad, how come Jace got named after Jason? Why didn't I get named after Jason? And I said, well, she was first. But then Jesse tells me, well, Jesse's middle name is Renee. She tells me, this was meant to be, Dad. And sure enough, based on today's, it was meant to be. Congratulations to both of you. I'm very happy for you. Jeez, James, thanks a lot. <laughs> well, I think after that ceremony, I too had the glare. I didn't see much. I heard. I heard it all. And I, so I think I should start off by saying, go blue. <laughs> No, no, I'm really honored that Jason and Renee asked me to, uh, to be in their wedding. Um, it was, like James said, beautiful. I've been, I've been in many weddings, and this is by far, by far, <laughs> it was the most beautiful wedding I've ever been in. Um, I think we should thank Jack and Diane for raising in Renee, such a beautiful, kind, just genuine person. Um, Little known for most of you about me is I love M&M's. I love M&M's. And uh, every time I go to Jason's to watch a football game, there are M&M's sitting there for me. And it's not because Jason went to the store <laughs> and got M&M's. <laughs> I think we th should thank Pam. Where is Pam? Oh, for raising in Jason. <laughs> such a, such a... Well, well, Pam, I think you did the best you could <laughs> with, what, with what you had. Uh, um, you know, there comes, that, uh, there comes that day, I think, for every young man or man, when they find, they find that special someone, that soulmate, someone they look at and they say, that's the one. For Jason, just so there's no confusion, and just so we're frank about things, I believe that day for Jason was 35, 36 years ago when he, when he first met myself. Am I, am I right? <laughs> I, I did write some things down. Just, just one second. Uh, but no, I don't want to tell a bunch of stories. To, uh, out of respect for Renee, tell, us, tell a bunch of stories to embarrass Jason as well. What I would like to do is explain him through my lens, through, through, through me. And when I think about Jason, I think of basically three words. The first one being emotional. Um, I'm not talking about the kind of emotion you saw today or emotion that you see during a time of grief or, or joy. I'm talking about the kind of emotion uh, 
the I've had too much to drink type of emotion. Um, my wife and I have been married 16 years. We're in our third home, and I believe, if I'm not mistaken, our Jason has showed that emotion in each and every home at our kitchen table. Uh, the, second, the, the second word I think of is honest. Um, I was speaking to Jason a few months ago and said, man, I think I'm going to try to lose a few pounds for, for your wedding that you're having. And he's like, dude, <laughs> you're going to be up there next to Jason, or James and I. You're going to look fine. <laughs> <laughs> so he's honest. Uh, and the last, the last word I, I, I comes to mind is, is self-aware. Uh, again, I was talking to Jason, uh, I don't know, two or three months ago or a couple weeks ago, I don't know. <laughs> and he said, uh, you know, Renee's a little worried. She asked me if my friends were going to get crazy at, my, at the wedding. And uh, his response to Renee was, I don't know, but if they do, I've got it coming. <laughs> so he's very self-aware. Like I said, my wife, and I, my wife and I were married 16 years ago. Jason was in our wedding. I've been waiting a very long time for Jason to, to be married. But uh, no, uh, Jason, I love him like a brother. Um, if I was stranded somewhere at 3 in the morning, he is the first person I'd call because I know he would be there. And he's proven that time and time again. Um, and I guess, are we doing a toast or? Yeah. Not me? All right. Okay, well, toast to Jason. Cheers. Hello. For those of you that don't know me, I am Jenny, and I am Renee's big sister. But um, some of you may not know that Renee and I are exactly 17 months a day apart. Our closeness in age has meant a lot. There was one grade level between us in school. So when I was in ninth, she was in eighth. When I was in tenth, she was in ninth. And the two of us did a lot of the same things. We played on the same Little League softball team. We had some of the same friends in school, including Jason. <laughs> and we cheered on the same squad together, and we both had similar goals in life. Both of us always knew what characteristics we were looking for in the man of our dreams. I married my high school sweetheart, and somehow we've been married for 19 years. I used to think my parents were crazy when they would tell us to cherish every moment because time flies even when you think a certain day or week will never end. Well, my hope for Renee and Jason is that you sincere, sincerely cherish every one of those moments. Marriage is never easy no matter whom you are, and I think most of us know that. It's work. It takes dedication. And... Um, the best thing about this is that fortunately you guys are surrounded by friends and family that love you unconditionally and are going to support your road. But because Renee and I have always been so very close, there are no specific things, or excuse me, there are very specific things that I knew that Renee was looking for in her husband. And that being said, I thought of a few no-nos that I would share with Jason. Yeah, Renee says to take notes. Um, but Jason, I, this is to protect you <laughs> from ending up in the doghouse where it's cold and dark and lonely and hellish. <laughs> so number 10, this is one thing you never, ever, ever, ever say to Renee. Don't you want to do your hair before you leave? Now, we all know how important Renee's hair and her looks are to her. So never, ever, ever comment on her hair, her makeup, her clothing, or anything, for that matter, that's attached to her body. <laughs> Unless it's positive. She will never let you down for this, ever. And number nine, if Renee does ask you about her attire, rem remember to always compliment her looks. Never, dear God, never. Tell her something isn't right. And on that note, the color black is the Budrow family secret. 
Let's just say that we wear it every day, and if we do wear it every day, Jason, and we look like we're attending a funeral, you still compliment her. Because black is literally our BFF. <laughs> number, number eight. This question. What did you do all day? If Renee's home and you're not, and you walk in and say, what did you do all day? Well, Renee and I are very much alike in this area. As soon as our feet hit the floor, we're off. We don't stop. We don't have time for BS or complaining. We have goals, and we accomplish them. And sometimes we accidentally, and I mean this, we accidentally bulldoze over issues because we just don't have time. So I promise you, Jason, that Renee has done many things, many things. Number seven, <laughs> my husband told me not to put this one, but I had to. <laughs> Is it that time of the month? <laughs> no explanation needed on this one, but I promise you, if it's not that time of the month, it is now. Number six, and I don't think you would ever say this to her, but are you going to eat all of that? <laughs> Hell yes, we're going to eat all. <laughs> we're going to eat what's on your plate, too. And that being said, Jason, you and I both know how conscious Renee is of what she eats, but if she wants a double-decker chocolate cake with fudge topping and chocolate ice cream on the side, you're going to let her have it because she deserves it. <laughs> Number five, <laughs> and I love you, Pam. There you are. Oh, no, Mom, this is for you. Sorry. <laughs> You're just like your mom. Okay, Di. So Renee has many characteristics that her mom has graciously bestowed on her, but never, ever point them out. We really do become our parents, and all of you know that. There's no getting around it. Number four, first of all, Renee has told me numerous times how blessed she is to be marrying into such a great family. She absolutely loves Pam, but never, ever, ever, ever say, would you like me to show you how my mom does that? <laughs> bad, bad, bad. <laughs> I can only imagine when that day comes. And I find myself standing in the sun I can only imagine Because surely you weren't talking about another female. Remember, Renee's the only thing on this earth that you should feel is beautiful. Even if a supermodel is standing next to you in the grocery store and you want to sneak a peek, don't do it, dude. Continue looking straight ahead and pay for that grocery bill and get the hell out of there. Number two, don't ever say, I told you so. You don't need to point them out. You might choose to use a word like, how can I help you, or yes, dear. And number one, never, ever, ever tell a bud... And then we're ready. And we may tell you again why we're mad. And if you do, you can pretty much guarantee you'll be in that doghouse again where it's dark, lonely, and cold. Renee, just yesterday, it seems, we were fighting while we played. When one of us came in the room, the other one wouldn't stay. Watch me, Nene. Why me now watch me win. Watch me, Nene. Okay. Now watch me win. Well, well. Watch me, Nene. Yeah, now watch me. Ooh, watch, yeah. me. watch me. Ooh, watch yeah. me. Watch me. Ooh, watch yeah. me. Watch me. Watch me. Watch me. Watch me. Watch me. Watch me. 
something there. Sorry, that's okay. Here's my third page. <laughs> I've shed a million tears. I know that Jason will be good to you, but still it makes me cry. I'll never forget our talks. On you, I'll still rely. And now you're Jason's, and that's all right, because this is not the end. You'll always be my sister, and thank God, my very best friend. I love you.